Okay, so we are going to unbox and review the pluggable USB-C 4K triple monitor display. Now, of all the docks that I've looked at, nothing is able to power my 234 ultra wide and my 49 inch ultra wide super ultra wide plus my 16 inch mac at the same time but there is a company with ingenuity they're putting in their egpus directly into the dock and bringing us the ability to connect up to six eight twelve different monitors and that the company is called pluggable so in today's episode, we're going to unbox and review the pluggable USB-C 4K triple display docking station with charging support. You're going to get uh, Windows support, Thunderbolt 3 system support, HDMI, two display ports, outputs, five watt USB, and of course, your 60 watt power delivery for your Mac. And that's coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Hervé from Hervé's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products like the pluggable USB-C 4K triple monitor display. Now I've got a new studio setup for 2020 and all the docs that I've looked at and researched are now able to push these two ultra wide 34 inches and this 49 super ultra wide plus my 16 inch brand new 2019 Mac. So anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom. Now Pluggable is a company that's coming out with innovative docking stations. Now this is going to be a 4K triple display docking setup and anything we discuss, you'll find right in the bottom. Let's go check it out. The unboxing begins. Now there are a couple caveats. Now this particular one, um, I had a question and I posed it to Pluggable and they stated that for my particular setup that I'd be better off getting a different version, their display version, because um, the display link software that this relies on is not compatible with most Macs. So that is a great thing. Now their customer service support is really good because I was able to ask them a question, but I already purchased it prior to taking a look at it for my system. Um, but I also wanted to have the leverage of having an actual fully functional dock running to USB-C on here, which is why I wanted to keep this. So this will do USB 3 compatible devices. It will do your keyboard, your mouse, your camera. It has gigabit ethernet ports. It has two display plus plus monitor. You can add there, it has an HDMI input, it has a USB-C to the host, and it has a power button. So on the front, you'll see that it has USB indicator, a power indicator, a microphone and headphone jack, and this will connect to the host computer and give you a resolution of 4K on three different devices. Now, this was going for 199. There are not a lot of different docking stations out there that are going to do multiple display setups as this. So, as you see, it's a nice streamlined device. It is a really nice setup. USB-C 4K docking station. You have a HDMI uh, 30 hertz HDMI port. You have your display gigabit ethernet. You have two uh, ports. The top one here is 60 hertz at 4K. You have a DC adapter, and this is to power your laptop to the host. Then you have your three USB 3 plugs right over here. I may have to throw a 
uh, dock to just get a couple more. And here you can either use USB-A port or, or the USB-C. It's one or the other. You have a headphone and a microphone jack right here. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. We have the pluggable manual. We have a power cable. We have the rest of the power cable and it comes with a USB-C to USB-C power plug. So let's take a look and see what we have. Now this utilizes cutting edge 3.1 technologies in conjunction with the latest features of their UD6950 dock. Um, this is not, this one here is not compatible with Mac OS 10, 13.4 versions or later, but it is specific with Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C 3 systems. So you'd be able to do your Mac, you'd be able to do your Surface Pro, your Dell series, your Lenovo Yogas, your Carbon 5th and 6th generation, and most 13 inch HP Spectre devices. Now it has an HDMI and display port so you can use the different type of connectors that you need. So if you needed to go uh, HDMI, you go here to your computer or USB-C. So we're gonna do USB-C to our device. Now the display plus plus video output does gigabit ethernet and you're gonna be utilizing the display link DL6950 alt mode for HDMI port support, which is a resolution of 3840 by 2160 4K 30 Hertz. And then it has another port here that will do 4K 60 Hertz. Now this is the gaming port, but gaming and HDCP playback is not supported. So we're going to plug this up like so. We're gonna put this in here and then we're gonna find a place for it on our docking station and we're gonna grab all the cables that we need and plug it in and we should be good to go. Okay, so here's what we Let's got thus far. So the dock is really, really good. So I have it going with one plug and that is going quite nicely. So one plug to rule them all. Pretty cool. So I have here this one, this one plug is doing all of these. So it's a really good streamlined solution. This is what I was looking for. So let's look and unpair. And I just want to look at the orientation and see where we're at. Okay, this is this. This is this one. This is this one. This is the Mac. Okay, so let's go. And if we go up and across, we are good to go. So the goal here, now this is a really good solution. Uh, I'm going to look for drivers for this monitor here. The goal is not to have my docking station uh, here. It's gonna be behind, I wanna eliminate all this room. The Mac is going to be behind my computer and that's how we're gonna do it. So let me continue this here, but if we close. Okay, so take a look. We have the 16 inch MacBook Pro. We have the Samsung 49 ultra wide here. And then we have two 34 inch on the top. So I keep it like this for now. I'm gonna to have to look for third uh, three monitor setup desktops. But if we look on the side here, you'll see that there's only one cable plugging this puppy in. So we take it out, you see everything is gone. Plug it back in and 
it's plug and play. Everything comes back. When it wants to. There we go. Now I have to admit that this is a good solution. I'm going to have to look for drivers uh, for this, but if you can tell, the top here um, re returned back or reverted back to its original form. So how we beat that is if you go down to settings, you're going to go to security and privacy. Now we are going to go to screen record settings and this is where you play with the display link user agent which you need to have this work with this particular model and we hit quit and now you'll see that everything is off so in order for all of it to work natively you have to click this on hit quit now and you'll see everything comes back with our desktop coming out and we just have to wait so now I can work on Final Cut and still have my stuff or watch a movie on top. This is going to allow tremendous productivity. And let me show you what it looks like behind. Now, with this setup, I was not able to take advantage of my desk orientation. Uh, I'm kind of losing half of the desk. So I may have to reach out to Autonomous and see if I can get a bigger desktop. Um, here is the pluggable USB-C 4K monitor docking station, triple monitor dock. Now I have a couple things here that I was able to trigger to work. Now if we look on the side, I have the display port here going specifically for my CHG. ID. I'm going to put gigabit ethernet on the top here. I'm going to put an Apple um, keyboard and I have a four port here, but it looks like I'm going to need a couple more there. Now I'm just going to work on the cable management, but it's a really good solution. And my favorite part about this is I was trying to achieve one plug to rule them all and it looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to look for skins and triple monitor setup skins going to look good. But I think next thing we're going to need to do is to reclaim back our desk. So I ordered a laptop um, stand. So I'm going to put this behind the monitor and then I'll have all of this glorious space all to myself. And then I will add the Apple keyboard and we'll be good to go. Now I'm gonna look okay, for Okay, so I wanna thank Pluggable for sending out a really good machine. Now I was able to make it work with the Display Link software update because I'm used to it. And I have another dock that I'm able to use for extra IO, but it's one plug directly on. I have all my monitors here. So now I'm gonna to have to look for triple monitor desktops. Now I pose the question, hey, what if I have a 49 inch super ultra wide with two ultra wide 34 inch and it gave me exactly now here's the thing the $99 option is the one they're talking about this one is 199 they weren't trying to upsell me they gave me the proper device which was 99 but I already ordered it and I needed more IO and I knew I could figure it out so they're very honest and they're quick to help their people on social media and they make a great product now I got tired of having mini docks plugging in for all my stuff. I have over eight different things through USB through the use of another uh, USB hub and it plugs in through one cable. Now I love that effect. One cable to rule them all. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be, I want to get as much desk as I can. So I'm going to take my laptop and put it behind and then next we're going to work on sound and I have the perfect sound system for this setup. So if you have any questions, do me a favor, throw me a, a question on the bottom. We'll continue this dialogue. We'll continue and hopefully I can help you out. But the pluggable 
USB C 4K triple monitor dock works exactly, exactly right with one plug. That is amazing. No crazy port, uh, cord configuration, no USB A plug, just a USB C into my Mac and it works streamlined. So, this is part of my 2020 setup. I'm gonna get really serious about pumping out content for you guys, but I can't keep giving you guys the same kind of stuff. So we're upgrading our stuff. And what do I like about it? I like that I have all these monitors at my disposal. I have a good landscape for my Final Cut Pro. I can watch YouTube, I can play a game here, I can watch a movie, but it's gonna streamline the process. What do I need to work on for here? Getting some of my desk back. So I would love to put this monitor on a monitor stand facing back, but it's kind of hard to find a monitor with the configuration that it has. It has not the 75 millimeter or the 100 millimeter, but it's the really close holes that you need. And then this is a $1,500 monitor. I'm not trying to break it. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try, pluggable, you guys are awesome. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need a hand with getting the display link software working, I've been playing around with it. I'm pretty good, so just give me a subscription. Give me a like, hit me up, and I'll come and help you get your setup done. Peace.